Hey there everyone, Vaish here, back again with another video. And in this video, I want to show you a showcase uh, something that we really built. It's really a cool, fun project. It's a full stack application, but the tech stack that we used is really amazing. And I'll show you the reason why it's amazing. We have to write less amount of the code and a lot of control was given to us by the backend. Less amount of code, more functionality. That's like a developer's dream come true. So I'll show you what we have built and then I'll show you what is so special about building this full stack application. In case you are interested me in me that, uh, hey, just give us a walkthrough, a step-by-step -step tutorial of building this full stack application here on YouTube, just let me know in the comments and I would love to do it. First, let me show you what we built. So the text tag that we used is first, notice this, we use the next uh, Next.js, so Next 13.1.2, so the 13x version, uh, the latest of the Next.js. And of course, on the backend side, we used AppWrite. Of course, frontend also a little bit of the AppWrite, but uh, this is where the, uh, the magic of this uh, particular application comes in. So in this application, what we do is we have a couple of roles and stuff and uh, we didn't wrote any logic for the roles who can actually see this data and who cannot and who can modify this data. We didn't wrote a single line of code for that. So let me show you what is this. So I have logged in. Obviously, it has the sign up and the login feature. I'll show you that as well in a minute. So notice here, this is the user one and he is able to add employees, edit employees and all of that. So let me just add an employee YouTube and his email is uh, youtube at the rate one.com. Assume that one.com is the company. Title is SWE and the department is going to be software or marketing or something like that. Uh, role, uh, let's just call this one as mm, any role. Uh, SWE would be good. Yeah, whatever the role is, <laughs> let's not go. Uh, we can actually add this, you can see this, and I can edit this as well, like YouTube one. And uh, yeah, that works immediately out of the box. So application is performing well, but here's the magic. I can log it out and I can just go ahead and say, hey, I want to go ahead and do a sign up or a login for a new account. And the new email is uh, simply, let's go with the two at the rate two.com. And the password, really simple, basic password, nothing to be much worried. Login, yes, all the functionality and features are working. I'm able to see the entire list and everything, but if I go ahead and click on edit, and if I try to save this as edit employee, I don't have this permission. I didn't wrote a single line of code for this one. This ability that certain user has the ability to perform all operation, some has the ability to perform just the read operation, didn't wrote it at all. Let me show you how we did that. So on the backend side, we used AppWrite for this one and the amount of ability that AppWrite actually gives you is so huge that it really needs a full series where we keep on talking about different features and different things that are available to us right out of the box, especially talking about the login capability and how the users are stored. So this is my AppWrite uh, database that we used up here for the personal project. We have a couple of users, one and two, there could be more as well, no problem at all. The best thing about this, apart from that capability, is I can click on this too, I can unverify it, I can block his account, no need to write any single line of code for that. This is all managed through here. I can just ask him to verify the account, that hey, please uh, verify your account, or maybe I can manually verify it or ask him to send an email. I, I can do all sort of these things. Uh, so that is all really nice. What I was telling you about is inside the database, I have this users in which I have folks as a collection and I have all these collections being added up here. Now in this document, if I click on the settings, notice here there is update permission so that I don't have to manually update the permission and add these stuffs. So what I've given here is there is a specific user one, I can just click on add role and select a particular user. It will give me a list of user. I can select this or search for it and can provide him all the permission that I want to. If I don't want to provide permission, just like you saw in the user, like rest of all the users, two was just an example, I can just say he's allowed to read the document only. No permission at all. So notice here, I don't have to write the code and the goal was achieved. The goal was that certain users should be have the capability to just read, certain users have the capability to do all the things like admin and I can just do that. There's a lot more features and option and all these things, like you can also check what is the usage of it, what is the activity that is going on. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that we can do. So this is all I wanted to show you, a little bit brief idea of how this actually looks like. By the way, we did work on this project. There's nice and easy login, login with Google. 
pretty much anything and everything that you want that is available in this project that we have worked on. So in case you want me to have a guide of how to build this entire project, this could be a nice cool tutorial for Next.js 13 as well. I won't be building components itself because otherwise that would be a, a tutorial for the tailwind itself. Uh, but rather I would uh, walk you through with the functionality of how to build this application. It's a full stack application. So I think that would be a cool tutorial. But again, it depends on how much demand is there. So let me know in the comment section. Do you want me to rebuild this entire application step by step walkthrough guide? I would really be happy to love this. Uh, that's all for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.